This is really cool. Guys, check this out, Orlando here on the streets. My show, Arizona Shine. I'm here talking to Thaddeus. Thaddeus, yes. And I'm leaving the grocery store, and as I leave, he's here. He's holding a sign about a veteran. So I said, why don't you give us your story? Everybody has a story. Most people just don't want to take the time to listen. So, Thaddeus, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. And why don't you kind of introduce yourself and tell us what brought you here? Um, I'm from Illinois originally. Um, I came out here in the early days of my family. Came back here after a short stint in the Army to go to school at ASU. So you were in the Army? Yeah. Thank you for serving our country. It was an honor to serve. Yeah, it really was. I'm too I, much of a wimp I, to I fight, wish, so I thank I was, you. I wish I would have stayed in the Okay. Um, got out, came out here. I went to ASU. Actually, I did a degree in finance. A few years ago, about six years ago, I probably got, ended up getting married. I was 36 at the time. Okay. And uh, my ex-wife is from Chicago. She came out here to uh, live with me, and then we got married. Basically, she never should have left Chicago. She was miserable out here. Um, I was being away from her family. Her being miserable just made me miserable. And I... Uh, so, two miserable people didn't miraculously get better? Magnifies it. Yeah, but uh, I started. Drink, I started doing some drinking. Um, found that I couldn't really drink like I could when I was 21. Okay. Your body can't really take it. Um, and alcohol is really hard. I'm not sure why that's the one place to do. Is that your vice? Yeah. That's your weapon of choice. Alcohol. I only really want to really want to suffer. It's just alcohol is hard on the body. Okay. But anyway. Um, after, after I got kind of bad, I my mom and my ex-wife. I went to rehab for 90 days. Um, I lost my job. Um, six days after I got out of rehab, my ex-wife split with her two kids and went back to Chicago. Mm. I did give up the drinking, but once you're in this position, it's nearly impossible to get out of without any sort of support system in place. I mean, you, you don't realize how hard it is to, to even get a job if you don't have a phone, you can't shower every day, you don't have clothes, you don't have a haircut, you're not clean shaven, any of that stuff. So what's the support if you can, so you're saying once you get into the cycle, now are you homeless? Yes. Once you get into the homeless cycle, you don't really have the type of support, or did you have the support that maybe helped you for a while? They all kind of after I got out of rehab, they kind of thought they were all done. With That's rehab. all they had to give you. And it's like, the, we were in, I was in marriage counseling and therapy, and you know, the therapist was all kind of, well, you know, this has to continue after you get out of rehab. And You're always recovering. Yeah, nobody really wanted to hear that, and kind of just thought they were done um, with everything once I completed rehab, and that really was And so, I haven't really had any contact with my family for about three years now. And like I said, once you have you no know, support system in place, it's nearly impossible to get out of this position. Being homeless itself is actually quite easy. Do you have... Getting out of it is difficult. What, do you have, like, an idea of how to break the cycle? Is it up to your family to support you? Is it maybe trying to find a landscaping job or... It's probably you can't, do something like that, yeah. Something to where you don't have to have a home and you can show up, or is there a way out of it that you can see, or does it just feel hopeless? Um, there's, uh, no, people definitely get out of it. I what? don't know if it's going to have to be something where I consider going to a shelter or something like that, which I don't want to do. This is, they mostly, I've heard nothing but horror stories about a shelter. Have you been to a shelter? I haven't. So maybe you may have to try the shelter. Now, do you have kids? So you have two kids. Is it a fair assessment to say that maybe that could be a motivational factor to try to get it together they're so that you can reconnect? Care. They're the only people I even care about anymore. So yeah, they're the only they're ones. Okay. So maybe if you have a support system or go into a shelter or what are some options that you think would help you or maybe somebody that's in this position. Now, you're a veteran. I want to ask you this because you said when you're in the service, you regret 
leaving the service. Yeah. Do you think that that would have maybe stopped this spiral? Mm. Or just delayed it? I actually made it happen earlier. You do a lot of drinking in the military. <laughs> was that <laughs> yeah. where you uh, honed your craft was in the yeah, service? Yeah, most definitely. Okay, so what do you have to, to say to, to maybe kids that are out there right now? If you can give them some advice or some wisdom to maybe avoid being in this situation or letting them understand that, hey, it's not that difficult to be in this situation. Um, you're probably going to find at some point in your life nobody screws you over worse than your own family does. Oh. And, uh... Oh. Just... You know, make sure you're always working and hold on, hold on to a job because once you fall into this position, it's, it's hard to get out of it. And don't really, don't never rely on anyone but yourself. No one, no wow. one else really. I mean, so make it up know. to you. Yeah. You know. And your family. Once once you get to a good position in life, make sure you hold on to that position. You know, don't let it go because it's very hard to build it back up. Okay. And, uh, Thaddeus, don't fuck off. Thank you so much for your story. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the the you know you sharing your story and just some advice from other people that just like that it can be gone. And appreciate what you have while you have it. Yeah, definitely. There you go, guys. A veteran in this situation just makes you think about it. So thank him for being a veteran. Orlando with Arizona Shine here on the streets. Until next time, guys, God bless and be appreciative of what you have and say thank you to them vets. Thanks, vets.